which one should I choose that goes with that? Or should I go with one of the cherry colors? Do kind of the orange cherry look. What do y'all think? What should I do? Okay, y'all can vote to yourselves. Which one would you have chosen? I'm thinking I'm going to go with... Just because it's Valentine, I'm going to go with this color. It's kind of a, a um, magenta. It's called Young Love. Um, again, a lot of the names I don't like. That one's not so bad. Um, let's see. What do we have? We'll do this. Over Blender. That's not what I want. I'm not crazy. Why did I get these two? Buff and Blend. I got these two. But anyway, I'm going to choose Young Love, and I'm going to twirl it. They're slightly. It's a slightly tapered brush it off a little bit start out here you always put down where you want it the darkest because see that just deposits a lot to be honest and then we're going to swirl inward and this was a perfect perfect choice because this sparkly kind of pink color has a lot of peach in it so that's a good blending color i mean a good um color to go with the transition color and I'm just building. So by going back and forth, it's just kind of building the color. It's taking off whatever's left. Kind of, I don't know if you notice, I'm kind of twisting the brush as I do it so I get it from all sides. And then I'm going out, in, out, in. And that's kind of building the cat eye look. And it's also kind of getting this triangular corner set up. Um, and I also got some right there, but anyway. So that looks good. We'll blend that out in a minute. Again, this is Young Love, and it's kind of a um, cherry frost is what it is, I would say. But it's blending very well, again, out here and in. Um, it's blending very well with the peach. Um, it's called Juicy, like Juicy Peach uh, transition color that we're blending up into. And we're just letting the brush continue to deposit. And then we're going out in, out in. We're just building this, this kind of triangular area is what we're doing. Out in. And kind of just building that. I feel like I need a little more. Yeah, I want to get a little more of that color. Well, that just shows you that is a very peachy pink because the color is coming up more peachy than it's coming up pink. So that's the color. Let's just make sure we got a good bit of it back there to work with. There we go. I'm purposely overbuilding back here because I'm going to be blending it out, if you're wondering. If you're going, you look pretty crazy there. That's because you, when you first put your makeup on, ladies, you don't put on your makeup perfect the way it's going to be. Now, you can blend in steps versus blend at the end, but you're never finished at this stage. I mean, obviously, we're going to continue to work. And I actually am going to take this smudger. Yeah, that's a good smudger brush. And with that, I am going to use Privacy, which is this dark brown on the end. And I'm going to wet it just a little bit. Yes, I use my own spit because I do not share brushes and I do not share makeup. So it's my spit. All right, so I'm going under the lash line. And when I say under it, I don't mean under it. I mean, I'm literally dragging this through the lashes so that I can have a lined lash line. With a little bit darker. This is kind of a, like a brown cherry. It does have a little bit of a red to it. And just do you see the difference of running that through the lash line? It just really reinforces the lash line. I'm not going down under here. I'm actually literally starting there and going right almost in the waterline. I'm in the lashes right now. And it's just a way to back them up for when it has mascara. And I close my eye. And let any excess we're just going to dry and um, kind of stamp that into the lash line here so that um, there's no white color between the lashes this is that's all this is doing because we're still going to do liner now you could even drag this through the brow hairs 
to kind of reinforce them. There's not much left on the brush, but that's kind of the point. You don't want too much of this. But it could be a good backup um, brow fill, what's left on your brush. I did use a, um, an actual brush and then kind of straight up and down in the front, whatever's left over, if there's any. Again, you're just kind of reinforcing. That's all that is. That's all that is. Where did I get this and this? So there's a little fallout just from the brushes. It's interesting. Okay, what am I doing now? Blending. <laughs> You're all going, blend, bath, blend. Okay. okay, everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. So, uh, that is not a good blender brush. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That had too much dark product. Here's a good blender. This is a tapered blending brush, E40 from Sigma. And it's got the dog hair on it. Like everything in my life does, so that's okay. Yeah, this is perfect blender brush. What you want for a blending brush, <clears throat> first of all, is perfectly clean. So get your, <clears throat> get you a tissue, or if I had my makeup towel in here, and I just don't know why in the world I don't, because I got three of them now. Um, just making sure there's nothing on it, and you can see there's nothing on it. The other thing you can do if you want to blend with color is use one of your very light transition colors, either your highlight or that Nets color. So kind of, I could use that Nets color if I find out, whoa, that didn't work. So here's one other thing that I want to do. On my lid, I'm going to use my finger, because I feel like that works better than anything, this Bang Bang color, and that is just for fun today because it's Valentine's Day. I'm going to put that right on the lid with my finger. Why the finger? It just, y'all, it seems to blend better than any brush. It's just your skin is very... um it does a good job of, um, sorry, this is kind of chunky. It's not going on well. And I don't think it's because it's not a brush. No kidding, your fingers burn anything. And if you'll notice, the more I'm doing this, the shiner it's, shinier it's getting. And I just wanted to shine on my lid today because it's Valentine's. And, um, again, your ring finger is a good ringer for, uh, finger for pressure. You know how much pressure you're putting on it, which isn't a lot. It's also just ergonomically an easier place. You start and stay most of the color right there in the middle when you put a shimmer on your lid. But you can go in front of it and in back of it and blend it. Another thing that I do recommend is go up a little. So here we are in the middle, and I'm going to go up and come down. Like up, down. And that's just kind of blending into your crease color. Puts a little shimmer up there so it's not like this line of shimmer and then crease color. So it just kind of blends it up in there. Now, naturally, it kind of will over the day anyway, to be honest. So we just wanted to put a little bit of shimmer there. And now we're going to clean it up. Okay. Now, first of all, I did not do good today at all. Well, yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I have a little Neutrogena <clears throat> makeup wipes. I feel like that on the edge is a boo-boo, and it's enough of a boo-boo that I want to correct it. So I'm actually going to use a Neutrogena wipe. So you're seeing the real deal. What happens when I make a mistake? It's like, well, you fix it. So here's one way to fix it. Now I can either put this, my finger through this, or remember I've showed you these before. You can get, these are called Face Secrets, and they're just a little like, they look like Q-tips, but they're not. Um, they've got little pointy ends and also a little flat end and I've also got just regular from them just because I like to have these handy I've got some um, dual ended eyeshadow applicators these are just sponge applicators to have handy because uh, they really do well now remember I don't have on um, concealer underneath but I did just put on my um, um, when I try to say I'm moisturizer and I do feel like it helps so much that stuff's so good there yeah this was a very shimmery uh, product back there so it just had a lot of fallout it's all over my nose too I'm gonna be careful how I do it because I did already put my base on some people and this is a good example of why you would do this if you're gonna have a, um, a shimmery product some people wait to do their uh, foundation even not just their concealer but they wait to do their foundation um, after they do their eyes if it's gonna be like sparkles that they may have a lot of fallout and this has a lot of fallout. Okay, so I got that. Yeah, and we'll blend it out. 
That did take off some, probably, of my Amore Pacific. I think y'all gonna end up buying that. That's the value of them doing that, you know. They're very smart, whoever they are. Those people. Uh, yeah, time response I reserve cream. I bet you it's very expensive since it's I reserve. But I feel like my eyes look really good. I'm gonna put just a touch more on because I feel like I just I just now let me wipe my where's anything I could use? Oh a napkin, good. Alright, and I'm going to I just wanted to not have anything on my finger when I go back into this product. Oh, there's no mirror. Just a little on either side. Oh, that's wonderful. It is very revitalizing, y'all. And since I've been traveling and my eyes, I don't know if y'all saw in my makeup, Get Ready With Me, I think it was, that I did while I was there. I, sh I literally pointed out to you. You probably can tell now. But my eyes were so dry and baggy. It was weird. It was like, God, this is terrible. Um, what eye product am I going to use for concealer? I'm going to do my Instant Age Rewind. It's a kind of an old faithful. Um... Did I finish all my color? I think I did. Yep, I did. So we're going to go ahead and put this up. I don't know why I did not use the brushes that came with this. You easily could. And I'm going to keep this out. I really do like this palette. Y'all know I switch out a lot. But I like that palette. And I like these brushes. I feel like these are really good. I feel like they did really good. So I'm going to put them back in our little space right here. It's pretty. That's why they're here. It's because they, they win because they're pretty. And I've got my favorite candle going here, y'all. Yankee Candle Summer Scoop. You can't get it anymore. If y'all find where you can get it, y'all let me know. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. So we're going to put the concealer on. And I am going to go up and pass. Under. Up and pass. And then I'm going to come down by the nose. I'm just kind of triangle it out just a little just to really blend it out to be honest that's all we're going to do there and then I'm going to get uh, this is a, a foundation brush but I never use foundation